In this video, I want to provide two simple examples as to how frequentist approaches to a problem would differ to that of a Bayesian statistician. The first example which we're going to be talking about is the example of medical diagnosis. So if we assume that we go to see uh, a doctor and we have some sort of pain in our stomach, then what we can do is we can think about how would the doctor approach the situation if they were a frequentist, so call that F, versus if they were a Bayesian sort of doctor, a, a doctor which applies Bayesian statistical methods to try and identify what's causing this pain. Okay, so let's first think about the frequentist uh, approach to diagnosis. How would that work? Well, the idea is that the doctor would have some sort of model for the cause of this particular pain. And this is some sort of mental model which could explain all possible causes of a stomach pain. And then what the doctor would do is perhaps by feeling your stomach, perhaps by probing with his fingers and sort of getting your feedback, he would then use that sort of the sort of feedback as an input into the model and that would then help identify the source of the pain. So the idea here is that what we're purely doing is we're using the sort of information which is available to us at the time via doing this sort of probing. Okay, so how would this differ with the Bayesian situation? Again, a Bayesian statistician would have a model for sort of identifying the causes of stomach pain, but the Bayesian doctor would also have to hand a history of the patient. So that history of the patient might be, you know, it might include, for example, this patient has had pain in their stomach in the past. Then what they would do is they would then sort of probe and again get feedback and then he would use this as an input to the model and he would also combine that with the prior history of the patient. So it's this combination of the sort of model results together with the prior knowledge of the situation that then helps them to identify the source of the pain. Okay, so that's the example of medical diagnosis. The second example which I want to talk about is if we're trying to locate a submarine. So we assume that we're in this ship up here and what we're doing here is we're using echolocation. So we are sending out sound waves from the bottom of the ship and then we're sort of waiting to hear how long it takes for that particular sound wave to return back to the ship. So we've got all these measurements on, let's say, the sort of length of time it takes these particular sound waves to return and we're going to compare how a frequentist would view the situation and use that to identify the location of the submarine and compare that with the Bayesian statistician approach. So again, if you're a frequentist, what you would have is you would have a model, and this model would be a sort of model for identifying the location of a ship based on the, or location of a submarine rather, based on the length of time and the frequency of beeps arriving back at the ships. And then what the sort of frequentist statistician would use is they would actually combine the data with, or use the data as an input to the model, and then they would use that to locate the submarine. Okay, so that's the frequentist approach. What's the Bayesian approach? So the Bayesian approach, again, would have a model, so I'm just gonna write sort of dash dash here, but they would also have perhaps to hand sort of prior knowledge of where the submarine has sort of been found in the past. So perhaps there are certain routes which this submarine actually takes, and perhaps if we combine our prior knowledge together with the data as an input to the model, we can then perhaps arrive at a location of the submarine that much faster. So the idea here is that we are using both our prior knowledge as well as the sort of data, this sort of, if you like, sonar data, to help us to identify the location of the submarine. 